Hello my lovely people, welcome back. I hope everything is okay with you. That is great. If somebody asks you how are you doing today, you can say like this. I'm doing better than good and better than most. I learned this from Les Brown, a famous motivational speaker in US, Les Brown. And he says when somebody asks you how are you doing, you go ahead and say, I'm doing better than good and better than most, right? And it's been a while that we did a book review in our channel. So today we're going to review a book. Today I'm with a book called, let me see if you can find it. The book is written by the author, Simon Sinek. And here we go. Start with the why. Start with the why is a self-help book, non-fiction business book. And now this book was published in 2009 and it was a massive seller. Because the author had become famous because before he published the book, his, uh, his video, one of his video is a famous video in TEDx and that's the most watched video in TEDx. Go ahead and watch the video in TEDx. It's about the same concept what he shared in this book. So as I told you, this is a self-help book. The author makes you understand why do we need to start with why. Most of us, when we do something, we do because we want to complete it. We do the what portion, portion of what we're doing, but why we do what we do? That's where the question starts, start with the why. So this book has six parts and he starts about why the world, what happens if the world doesn't start with the why? And he talks about Martin Luther King, when you he, when he open the book, he starts with Martin Luther King's speech, how he moved millions of people through his speech, I have a dream. I have a dream is a great influential speech ever ever in uh, the uh, history of the world. If you've never watched, go ahead and check that video as well. I have a dream from Martin Luther King Jr. And what happened and what made him do that speech, that's discussed over here. And then he talked about Wright brothers. When Wright brothers were uh, working on their dream of building a flight, uh, building an aeroplane, there was no aeroplane in the world, but they had this idea that they want people to fly. They want to fly. So they had that why and they were able to do it because when they were building 1950s, I guess, there was another guy who is also he's a, he's a corporate leader who is trying to build an aeroplane. They have uh, all the scientists, they have uh, manpower, they have all the resource, money, everything. But they didn't have the main ingredient, why. They don't know why they're doing it. But Wright Brothers, they were actually uh, having a cycle shop and they have this only tool is why. With the why, they managed to build an aeroplane and they've, they've changed the course of transportation. That's how you become evolving as when you start with the why, right? And he also talks about Steve Jobs. And the book mostly revolves around the company Apple. And you may be wondering, something is linked, there is some kind of link between Simon Sinek and Apple? You know, I too had the same thought, but he revealed uh, why he's talking about Apple all the time because every success story he could uh, relate the whole concept whatever concept that he's trying to share is actually linked with the company's growth so he says that this company is a perfect example to start with the why and he talks about how Steve Jobs was evolved uh, when he was starting the company from garage and how he evolved it to pixel and then uh, the company Macintosh is turned into Apple and when they kicked out when they kick uh, Steve Jobs out of the company and why did he came back everything that's a beautiful uh, story that he shares and uh, yeah, this is all about the book. And he also talks about one important concept called golden circle. That's his trademark. Golden circle will have a why in the middle. And then the second layer is uh, how. And the third layer is what. Generally, what happens when we do something, we come from the outside, uh, outside in. We try from what we do, and then we see how we do. And then we, we look into why I'm doing this. But that's not how it works. If you really want to be successful, if you want to do world-class performance, then you have to start with the why, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and then you see how you do it, and then automatically what comes into picture. And he also links with uh, businesses. Most of, as I told you, this is more of a business-related book. So he, he correlates the book with multiple businesses, mostly US because uh, he's from the US. And uh, he, he compares how CEOs work, how uh, middle managers work, and how end people work so you can you can actually see if you're working in a business environment you're working in an it company you could literally see what people do and you can relate how who is the why guy who is the how guy and who is the why guy 
I've seen as per as I've seen in the place where I work I see most of the leaders are mostly why when people who are really top notching in their performance they know what they do and I'm sure if you read the book you'll be able to correlate that as well right and uh, did you talk about everything about the book I guess so let me just review it and see if I missed something all right and yeah the book is written in plain english and you don't need a dictionary the book is pretty small you have around 250 pages and uh, you don't need a dictionary it's a very good book it's a strong recommendation from me if you're working in an IT company or if you're looking for uh, developing your business it's it's a must recommended recommended book that you definitely have to read the book and that's all i have for you and goodbye i'll come next week with another interesting book and i'll see you later all right bye for now